already learned about phrases and clauses. So what is a clause? A clause is a group of words that acts as a part of speech. That is, it acts as a noun or an adjective or an adverb and conveys some sense. It may or may not stand alone to form a complete sentence or to convey a complete thought. It has a subject and a verb. Now we have already learned about adverb clauses. What are adverb clauses? Adverb clauses are dependent clauses. They contain a subject and a verb. They function as an adverb in the sentence. And they are usually introduced by subordinating conjunctions. Today, we will continue learning about adverb clauses. The football match will take place if it does not rain. Now, in this sentence, the football match will take place is an independent clause because it makes complete sense and can stand alone as a complete sentence. Whereas, if it does not rain, is a dependent clause because if it does not rain, does not make complete sense on its own. It depends on the main clause to complete its sense. Now, if it does not rain, is working like an adverb of condition. Here, it is describing the verb will take place. So, if it does not rain, is showing a condition so, if it does not rain is an adverb clause. Now, adverb clauses which show condition are introduced by subordinating conjunctions like if, whether, unless, etc. You can finish the marathon because you train so hard. In this sentence, because you train so hard, is doing the work of an adverb of cause or reason. Why can you finish the marathon? Because you train so hard. So because you train so hard is describing the verb finish. So because you train so hard is an adverb clause of cause or reason. Adverb clauses of reason are usually introduced by subordinating conjunctions like because, as, that, since, etc. Ram runs faster than Arjun does. Than Arjun does is showing the work of an adverb. What is it describing? The verb runs. And what does it show? It shows a comparison of degree. So, this clause, Dan Arjun does, is an adverb clause of comparison of degree and adverb clauses which show comparison of degree can be introduced by subordinating conjunctions like than, as, etc. In my last test, I scored as I had expected. Now, as I had expected is a clause which is working like an adverb of manner. So this is an adverb clause of manner and adverb clauses of manner are usually introduced by subordinating conjunctions like as, the way, like, etc. The soldiers fought bravely although they had marched in the snow for many days. Now in this sentence, the soldiers fought bravely is an independent clause. The soldiers fought bravely can stand alone as a complete sentence. But the second part of the sentence, although they had marched in the snow for many days, is a dependent clause. And this dependent clause is giving us an idea which is completely opposite 
to the idea expressed in the main clause. When one part of a sentence gives an idea which is completely opposite to the idea expressed in the other half of the sentence, we have a case of supposition. In this case, although they had marched in the snow for many days, is telling us that even though the soldiers had marched in the snow for many days, they fought bravely. So both the ideas are contrasting. Now the dependent clause is working like an adverb of supposition. And adverb clauses of supposition are usually introduced by subordinating conjunctions like though, although, even if. He was so weak that he could not move. Now that he could not move is working like an adverb by describing the verb was. So he was so weak that he could not move. So this part is a dependent clause which is working like an adverb that shows a result or a consequence. Why he could not move? Because he was so weak. So it is showing us a result. Sometimes we can drop that in adverb clauses in informal use. So instead of writing, he was so weak that he could not move, we could also say he was so weak he could not move. So both the sentences express the same idea or meaning but in the second sentence we do not have the conjunction that. In the second sentence he could not move is the adverb clause where we have omitted that. Now that you have learnt about adverb clauses in great detail, let us do this exercise. Identify the sentence with an adverb clause. Let us read all the sentences. Jack sold a house that belonged to his mother. The doctor was annoyed that the patient had not followed his advice. I like running on the sea beach. Now, in all these sentences, which is the sentence with an adverb clause? Let us take each sentence one by one. Jack sold a house that belonged to his mother. In this case, that belonged to his mother is the clause, but it is describing the noun house. So, this is not an adverb clause. Now, in the final sentence, I like running on the sea beach. Let us identify the verb. Like is the verb. Do we have any clause which is describing the verb like? Running on the sea beach is not describing the verb like. So this is not an adverb clause. In the second sentence, the doctor was annoyed that the patient had not followed his advice. In this sentence, our verb is was and the clause that the patient had not followed his advice is showing us an adverb of reason. Why was the doctor annoyed? Because the patient had not followed his advice. So this sentence, the doctor was annoyed that the patient had not followed his advice is the one with an adverb clause. So what is the adverb clause in this sentence? That the patient had not followed his advice. So what did we learn today? We have learned today in great detail about adverb clauses. Adverb clauses function like adverbs in a sentence and they can be of various types just like adverbs. They can show a reason or cause they can show a result or consequence, they can show manner, they can show comparison, they can also show time and place. We will soon learn about other clauses and in the meantime, you should take up many sentences and try to identify adverb clauses in them. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.
you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.